Bookworm V Monster Racer, starting now. Diamond, I love it. Diamond Racing, so good. So this is seeded racing, of course. They're going to be racing the exact same seeds. Uh, we got a little bit of leg. We got, oh, man. Um, what do you call it? Screen shake. No, no screen shake. Ooh, a nice play there by Bookworm just to go get that uh, barrel. Using the diagonals properly. Let's see if they can maybe use the diagonals to get into the shop. No, neither racer is going to. In fact, Monster Racer is just going to skip it. Bookworm's going to take it. Golden Rapier and Chainmail is a pretty solid start, honestly. Um, so it's important to note that with Diamond, a lot of the items and weapons are not in the pool. Ooh, that could be a plus one damage. You need a bomb, though. Actually, Monster Racer has bombs, so could get the plus one damage there. Got Quartz Armor. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, no! Oh, diagonals. Oops, diagonals. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I already forgot. Okay. Got the ring of regen. That is not going to be helpful till the next floor. Can Monster Racer get through this? Bomb themselves. Ah. Tough fight. Tough fight there. Oh, I got to fix. I got to add some delay to my, my re, uh, replays. Uh, yeah, scooting through there. I loved that. But then, uh, then died. All right. So that's okay. Still early. We'll see what Bookworm gets. Like, honestly, that um, Shriner is real good. Oh, Monster Racer's now going to go for the Blood Shop here. Decided to change it up and go with the strat that um, that Bookworm did. So uh, we're not going to see the same difference. Doesn't have that bomb. Could go find the rest of the second bomb in this uh, one, too. So might go and find that second bomb and maybe try again, but this time with a Rapier? Question mark? Going to switch to the Quartz. Taking Quartz over Chain? No, keep with the Chain. I don't know which would be better when fighting dragons, chat. Can you guys help me out on that? What would be better when... Oh, gonna take the boss. Shrine for the plus one damage. I like that. That gives him a chance. Monster Racer's got a chance to catch up there. Plus one damage rapier. Real nice. Bookworm here in 2-2. Two, two. How good Bookworm's one is. I can't even imagine that. I can't even imagine. Well, my understanding... Whoops, big bombs. <laughs> My understanding is uh, Bookworms 1 can't really apply themselves. So uh, so maybe if they could apply themselves, we would see quite a difference. We're seeing some nice gold kills here from Bookworms 2. <laughs> Bookworm 52. Yeah, now the Purple Shovel is, in fact, the best item you can get in Diamond. But the Purple Shovel is unbelievably good because you can do a escape scoots. You can run away from... Um, like, with Diamond in general, you can run away from the swarms by going diagonal, and any, any enemies that cannot dig diagonally do not uh, come after you. Or, sorry, cannot dig at all, don't come after you. Um, but it takes them a dig to get there. Uh, but then you can also, with the Purple Shovel, you can go so far, so fast, uh, out of the way, and things can't keep up. So, Purple Shovel, really good here. It's a pink shovel, though, Ix. Nerfed in Condor 2, yeah. I heard that too. So we do have a boss shrine for both racers. Did Bookworm take the boss shrine but not have the bomb for it? Because that's what I'm gathering here. Now has a phasing dagger, which is pretty nice. Plus, plus one damage phasing dagger as well. And does have the courage shovel. Pink shovel acquired. Oh, whoops. That might have been a mistake. Now, there was a bomb on that floor, but this is a race. And honestly, we're seeing some pretty good catch-up here from Monster Racer. I think uh, build-wise, it's pretty even. They both have the pink shovel now. Oh, rip. You can actually catch the Leprechaun as Diamond. And there goes the ring for Monster Racer. Salty run back. Yeah. Probably not the most salty. Probably like a mild brine. Sort of like the, uh, what do they call that? The area between uh, the ocean and rivers. Where it's, um, you know, not not super salty, but kind of like a little bit salty. Brash? I think they call it brash. It's like a brash run back more than a briny salty run back. And then we got a death there from Monster Racer. Oh, let's see that instant, instant replay. Great Goblin sneaking up. That's what happens when you've got, wait. That wasn't a leprechaun that got him, right? Well, that's what happens when you've got, uh, when you got the sunglasses on. Oftentimes, it's hard to see those goblins sneaking up on you. 
Is it brackish? It's just brackish? Is that what I said? I said brash or something, didn't I? I don't know. Oh, praise the ham, though. Praise the ham and the blood rapier. Holy moly, that build change there for Bookworm. A 4-2 shot saves the day. All right, well, we are now, I believe this does constitute a salty run back at this point. We are well beyond, we are well into the salt. Fun fact for you all out there, the oceans continue to get saltier because the reason they're salty in the first place is because of uh, the fact that you have salty runoff from, from various minerals in the rivers. And then it just kind of stays in the ocean as evaporation in the water cycle happens. Fun fact, so there you go. So we've kind of got this situation going on right now where it's just like, ooh, jeweled dagger though. I do like that. I like going for that. So yeah, what we're seeing here is a little bit of like the continued salination of the oceans here for Mo Monster Racer. Bookworm meanwhile is in zone five. These are two uh, best two out of three races. Uh, best of threes and they are single a limb. Which is too bad. Autoclaves, the salty runoff. Hey, hey guys, thanks so much. 21 months, Blackjack. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Nice earth kill there, and that is gonna do it. So Bookworm taking game number one in a 641. Man, this race is fast. I gotta say, these uh, diamond races are gonna be quick. All right. We're gonna be on to game number two. We maybe should have done best of fives throughout the whole tournament, but I think we're just gonna have a quick tournament here. Because honestly, that was a super fast race. Of course, though, Bookworm is incredibly good. A 620 is a solid run for sure. By the way, if you want to keep up with the stats, you check out the stats sheet right here. We've also got um, Bingo Door coming up for, or sorry, Bingo Hoot? I don't know what to say. Uh, Kahoot for Bingo Door. <laughs> wow, Rock, 22 months. Black John plus one. Black Jack, Black John. Praise Good man, Jack. Holy moly. All right, we're gonna get on to game number two. Kahooingo, Bingoot, Bingoot. Bingoot, that's probably it. So yeah, that's coming up. That's gonna be really awesome. Looking forward to that. I am, uh, I'm a little untrained on how it exactly works out, but I think it's gonna be nice. Crash Bandicoot in my Steam, what? All right, we got a uh, potential, oh, that's a money bomb right there though. You can get yourself another bomb back. You got cookies instead. And we're right back again with the golden rapier. Gonna grab the torch as well. Bright torch is not much of an upgrade. Uh, but with the ham, you know, you only go down half a heart, it's fine. Wow, jackets and bleed running. Thank you so much for the hosts, the two of you. Appreciate it. Oh, there is a gold kill on that crate. Oh, this is spicy. This is spicy. Okay, diamond. It's fine, it's diamond. Monster Racer gonna be collecting the Leprechaun here. Maybe milking him a little. Nope, not gonna milk him at all. Just gonna take his gold and run. Yes, I'm really looking forward to the bingo. I think it's gonna be really fun. Yeah, Rattata Jack worked hard on putting together our bingo cards. I think it's gonna be really good. Oh, you just don't kill it first. You sort of hit it and then run away. Pedantic, and then it just leaks milk. Leprechaun milk, which is of course gold. Everybody knows that. Nice ring of regen pickup for both these racers here. This is actually pretty close so far. Quick trap door, uh, but Bookworm going out of his way to get those bombs, which could be very valuable come boss fight or potential food shop. Learn about all the milks, that's right. The blue milk, I got that. Oh, here's where you could use a bomb. And no bomb for Monster Racer. Is that a potion I see there in 2-3? I see a potion in 2-3. Mmm, couple hits there for Monster Racer. Getting a bit of a surround. You gotta watch out. 
With no armor, both the black skeletons and the dirt golems do a lot of damage. Uh, we're going to get a shovel swap there for bookworm. Holy moly damage. Whoa, torch of strength too. We got plus four damage on this. So it's a four, five. Oh, rip torch of strength. Never mind. That was a four. That was a four, five rapier. Now it's a three, four rapier. Meanwhile, though, Monster Racer making the swap over to a Titanium Rapier. Old Faithful, as I call it. Oof, taking a big hit, though. Needs to get out of this floor, get the heal up from the Ring Regen. There it is. Yeah, harps are good. Give me a harp. I won't harp on that. There's a 5 6 Rapier? What? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, plus 4 is 5, five 6. You're right! Using the the art of uh, arithmetic there, I was able to suss that out and fix that. So very good. Five six. Thank you, Shadow. Do love the big dig though. I love it, especially in zone four. We are oh, we're so beat for beat right now. It's amazing. Uh, rip the ear muffins there for bookworm. So now it's just a plus one rapier. So it's a two three and versus a two damage uh, old faithful. So I still give the build lead here to bookworm. But I uh, give the actual lead uh, also to Bookworm. But it's close. I should be smarter than chat? Sure. <laughs> I don't know if that's uh Oh, there's a Kappa. Oh, a Kappa. Okay. Never mind. That means I should be dumber than chat, right? Dumber than chat, confirmed. All right, ooh, bit of a teleport there. We do have the dove charm, delightful. Hey. Uh, for bookworm. There's a damage up, a three damage now, Old Faithful. That's a nice shop, the four one. Meanwhile, bookworm's gonna grab that quartz armor. I wonder if Monster Racer is going to find it. Protective charm, what about it? Did they bomb it? Oh, we got Snowbro! Charming, what a charming run. All right, so we got the Dove, we got the Snowbro. Going for the four familiars. Love it. Oh, got bombed by the Bomblin. Rippers, Ripperoonies. All right, whoa, that, oh no! Oh, Bookworm just got teleported into a lock shop! Oh! Oh my god! That is so rare! Oh, man! Oh, no! The drama! You gotta wait it out! Using the heart transplant, does that speed up the, the song at all? No, it doesn't. You just gotta wait it out, Bookworm! Oh! <laughs> 4-3 is a quick song, though, at least. <laughs> Tic Tac, welcome, everybody. Wind spell. Welcome, everyone, from Tic Tac's channel. You came here just in time. Monster Racer looking poised for tying this set up in a tragic uh, monkey turn of events there. Holy moly. <laughs> Crow. Yeah, it's a 4-3. See, I don't think that works. I mean, you could just dance around for a while. You can make Doust sing real fast. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe you could get a thing to like step on a bomblin or something. Mm. So tragic. <laughs> yeah, that was a really bad shot. What was the item that was, was it a food? Oh, I think it was hearts, heart containers. Maybe it wasn't, I'm not sure. Now the question is, will Monster Racer finish the race before Bookworm's song ends? That's the real question here. Miss, 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 missed. Oh man, Bookworm, that is some bad RNG. It's a good thing that Bookworm didn't already lose a race. This could have been the source of some serious salt. I'm not even seeing red beat bars yet. And Monster Racer is on the final boss here. Deep Blue's five. Still, still, still the song, still going. Sure give you a lot of time. And that is gonna do it. Even before 
bookworm can get out of the shop. <laughs> oh, is it a telecrown? <laughs> oh, tragic. Praise hell! Yo, what up, Ronkley? Uh, yeah, getting cozy with Nick. All right, we are going to bring in my co-host, Ronkley. Hey, Ronkley, how's it going? Oh, going a little better. <laughs> that's good, that's good. If you need more time, it's all good, but uh, yeah. Oh, no, I, I had a pretty crazy week, and uh, fortunately, I think it's settling down, so. Oh, that's good to hear, yeah. We should be good to go. Excellent, did you see the thrilling conclusion to that race just now? The heartbreaking conclusion for Bookworm. <laughs> Spending some quality time with Mr. Dust. Yes, serious quality time. Good gravy. That was really unfortunate. Oh, man. <laughs> oh I can't stuff. help but laugh about it, though. All oh. right, here we go. Now, this is like potential salt territory here for Bookworm. Um, Bookworm is heavily favored in this, in this uh, match. Bookworm has a sub-4 PB, is number one seed here on Diamond. Monster oh, Racer is uh, still a very fast racer, has a very good PB, but is our bottom seed in this tournament. So uh, a loss here for Bookworm would be a pretty big upset, especially given the circumstances of that fast race. So Indeed. What's with the difference here? Why, does, uh, oh. why would Bookworm have a level 3 wall versus a level 2 wall? Yeah, that doesn't look... Are they on different seeds? Uh, no, there oh. is. What? <laughs> Bookworm Wait. just died. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bookworm did just die. Huh? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, something's amiss. Oh, has he got double... I don't know what's going on. I don't know either. I'm trying to suss it out here. Oh, milking the leprechaun there. Oh, got hit yeah, by the leprechaun! But... <laughs> and then ran away. <laughs> It doesn't end well. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't. So I think we have a bit of a delay difference. Um, Maybe, yeah. Uh, is Bookworm... Yeah, is, are these well, different? We'll find out in a second. This is, these doesn't get deep. Yeah, I think, I think they're different deep, seeds. But I think they're pausing here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good for Bookworm, because... <laughs> Because uh, Bookworm had a very untimely death there to a red dragon. Yeah, different seeds. All right. Whew. Yeah, I did not see the seed input, so. Me neither. So we'll do a reseed. It's all good. Take two. Yeah, Diamond's gotten. Uh, Diamond's times have gotten way faster, I think, since the last time we've had a Diamond Door. I think that's correct. Yeah, let me check the dates on that. But my uh, my PB was once, like, I think fourth for Diamond, and it was like a five-minute huh? run, and now I'm like 30-something. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was pretty happy with that run, too. Like, that was a pretty... You get Ring of Courage, uh, Electro Dagger, and Ring yeah, you... and Shovel of Courage, and you just fly through. Was that the one where you got the electric dagger in the traps? I don't remember exactly. I just remember the build. Is that what happened? It was like, it was like I think it was like a one-one rat trap, but of course Diamond don't care about those. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, so our last Diamond Door, Diamond Door three, was it looks like um, October last year. Oh wow! So almost a full year since our last Diamond Door. So it's yeah, like we're that's a right good amount of time to start. increase. And it looks like we had similar racers for sure. Bookworm, Siver, Goof. Uh, now there's actually two very notable diamond racers who are not here uh, today because they had prior engagements, which is really tragic. But both Pantslor, who is a uh, diamond extraordinaire, and and uh, Spooty Biscuit both could not make this tournament, unfortunately. Uh, um, but, you know. No Pantslor, ooh. Yeah, I know. No Pantsler in a Diamond Door feels a little wrong, but, you know, he had, he had other stuff on the go, so. Last staff for Monster Racer here? Uh, it's pretty dang good. It um, is. It's also incredibly spooky. 
Now, that, uh, the ear muffins we see again, ooh. Probably gonna wanna pivot off that glass staff given mm -hmm. the strength charm and the armor there. But maybe get you through yeah. this boss. I'd probably go for black chest here, just because, you know, you got the plus one damage, something a little safer. It's very easy to lose a run when your glass breaks, uh, even with diamond, well, who can scoot away. And didn't, very went for the ring of peace. Yeah, yes. both racers taking the ring of peace. I mean, if it was like an obsidian rapier or something like that, then... Um, oh I'd my! Like Uh-oh. What? Oh, look at what... Oh, he went for ring of courage. Two. So he's doubling down on that. Uh, wait, what? Different torch? No, we got the torch of walls. Never mind. What am I talking about? So both getting the pink shovel. Very good. And there is a glass harp. Monster Racer's gonna take it. Oh, this, that's, that's, this is interesting. Uh, glass harp is quite good um, with diamond. Yeah, it is. Because diamond, you can attack I'm... anything around you diagonally, right? So, so mm -hmm. if there's anything within the glass harp range, you can attack it, which is pretty good. Uh, I think it Racers is faster than Monster Racer. Yeah, Bookworm also going very fast though with the plus three damage right now on this build. Did get that strength charm. Just finding all the trapdoors. Hmm. Bombing all that right, red zone three oh. boss. Goodness. I was gonna say was what? Bookworm ever actually in zone three? Yeah, that was a <laughs> super fast zone three. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, Bookworm going very fast. It's going to be into, into zone four in like, at like 2.30, 2.40. Oh, Obsidian Rapier find coming up for Monster Racer here. Oh, very Let's nice. Definitely want to take that. With the build, with the armor, that's very strong. Uh, needs to pick up the pace though. Like finding some good stuff, but holy moly, find, falling behind big time. Yeah. Careful. Got lots of mini bosses here. Oh, stepping on confused traps. Confused diamond is extra confusing. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> With all the diagonals being opposites as well. Yeah, that was some awesome mapping in Zone Three, which is rare. <laughs> oh, we got some goo boots. We also have some pain boots, but we're not going to take them. Or damage boots, not pain boots. Yeah, the pain boots are on the next floor. Oh, and very nice bomb there. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh my goodness. I think I might be a little ahead of you. I've got yeah. Are you watching on Cadgar or MacSG? I'm watching on like VLC? Twitch, but um, I have both low latency off. But I think I'm still a little ahead of you. Okay, man, I gotta I gotta figure that out. I don't know why I I'm always consistently behind with my uh, Cadgar VLC stuff, even though it's supposed to be ahead. Oh, okay. this is spooky! Try. Oh, Telemonkey. Yikes! I yeah, that's just racer. oh, all the way to the beginning again. Yikes! Meanwhile, Bookworm on to Zone Five here, pushing through. Has has health to spare as well. Cookies, uh, armor, easy street, and you can see just how good the pink shovel is. Yeah, it's just the Bookworm cleaning up at this point. Only has the plus one damage, but doesn't need much more. You can just kind of scoot around everything, so you just have to kill the mini bosses. And that is what we're seeing. Also with the uh, the wire, holy moly. Just blowing up everything in that room. And here is the boss fight. Almost an entire zone ahead. Not almost. They're on the, is they're on the same ahead. boss at one point, too. I think it's zone two. Yeah, zone two boss, same point. All and fast. then that bone th or zone three craziness. Nice bomb Great there. And Bookworm before. taking it. Oh, wow, that was fast. It was a sub a five, sub wasn't five? It? Excuse me? <laughs> that is, what? That was a quick seed. A 434? <laughs> what? A very fast seed. What was even so fast about it? I guess the courage shovel. It was a base that rapier. Made, yeah, but it, he had those. Um, he had the earmuffs into zone 4. That's true. So he had all the damage. Wow. So he didn't need it anymore, really. So That's insane. Very fast lead. I'm gonna be shocked if we see a faster race than that. That was, uh, that's so fast. But we might, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you never know, this is just the first set. Man, that was amazing. GG's. And a, and a 530 is certainly amazing too. <laughs>
Good God. Pro saying he spent less time in that run than he did in the 4-3 shop. 